Miami Dolphins icon in the fight of his life. Nick Bonacani is suffering from a brain disorder, a disorder disclosed in a new article from Sports Illustrated. CBS 4's Mike Cuneo is here now with the story. Mike. Nick Bonacani will always be remembered as that scrappy Hall of Fame linebacker on the Dolphins 1972 team, but after a steep decline in his health, he's hoping to put a spotlight on the risks of playing football, specifically those having to do with head injuries. I can't remember how to lace my shoes. My left arm won't do what my brain tells it to do. The answer would be no, I would not have played football. In an emotional interview with Sports Illustrated, Hall of Fame linebacker Nick Bonacani details his recent health struggles, including memory loss and confusion, problems he attributes to a high frequency of hits in his 14-year career. And so to see him in this situation, a guy who's been so capable his whole life, um, it's heartbreaking. Former teammate and CBS4 sports analyst Kim Bocamper says he isn't surprised by Bonacani's revelation but understands why former NFL players are reluctant to talk about the symptoms associated with head injuries. You've been taught as a, as a young kid all the way through football to just, hey, you know what, just fight through it, fight through it. You know, you sprain an ankle, you know, tape it up, fight through it. You know, you, you pull a hamstring, fight through it, you know. And so I think that's the mentality that guys that come out of football that played for any length of time is, hey, let me just fight my way through it. There's more and more evidence linking football and the debilitating brain disease known as CTE. We spoke to Dr. Brad Herskovitz, a neurologist at the Baptist Health Neuroscience Center, who says the problem with the disease is it can't be diagnosed until after a person has passed away. And so we do know a lot about concussions. We do know that repeated concussions can cause dementia and CTE, uh, but there's a lot we don't know. The symptoms initially are some slowing, uh, difficulty um, thinking. Um, leading to dementia or memory disorders. 76-year-old Bonacani told Sports Illustrated he may have taken 500,000 hits to the head in his football days and believes it's a source of his current health status. I got neurocognitive and neuro, neuro, what is that? Neuromotor. Neuro, neurocognitive and neuromotor deficiencies and, and they're only getting worse, they're not getting better. Sports Illustrated says Bonacani and his family are planning to donate his brain one day for research in the hopes of learning more about brain disorders like CTE. Mike Cunio, CBS4 Sports.